I'm annoyed that so many atheists now have this notion that they're skeptics because they say fuck you to any sort of media that has been well-renowned for giving decent information and will prop up media sources that are blatantly Christian because in some ways that's what let's say here in the United States that's what our culture is kind of based on so, so it seems okay to use Christian propaganda sources, as long as it supports the uh, belief you have. Yes, Breitbart, The Blaze. Then a lot of people will, oh, look, Infowars. Hey, look, it's, it's the, the head uh, chief editor, I think. Oh, but he says so many things that I agree with. He says so many rational things. So that makes, that makes it suddenly a good source? Really? Do we take seriously the advice, health advice, from websites that have homeopathy on them? Or websites that have links to articles that are anti-vaccination? Do, do we take those kind of sites seriously when it comes to things related to our health? Well, I mean, they say some rational and logical things, right? Hey, you know, if they say something rational and logical, you know, it doesn't matter what the source is. Yeah, there could be this, this little 5% or 2% of the overall message being said that's completely false. And a whole bunch of the way things are argued sort of hinges on that little piece, that little false thing. But because, oh, they're ra they look, they sound rational and logical. It's like, okay, if you believe that, then find a source that says this same thing that's a valid place. If it has links to, oh, what would God do? Type of stuff, right? Or homeopathy, or anti-vax, or massive paranoia about GMOs, or the world is coming to an end because traditional values are no longer being propped up, or pretty much anything that, uh, oh, conspiracy theories, if it has anything like that on it, it's not a valid source. I don't care if you can prove, well, look, uh, look, what they're saying right here is true. I don't fucking care. It could be a truth in a sea of lies, and we're supposed to congratulate that truth. Or somehow, that one truth makes the sea of lies no longer a sea of lies. And again, there are things that, if you break them apart individually, are true. But then there's this one little section that the entire conclusion that has been come to hinges on this little lie, this little false piece of information. What difference does it make if you can individually pick out those, well, look, oh, this is true, look, look, this statistic is true. Okay, and? Does that, that doesn't mean, does that, so that suddenly means that everything else that's being said is, is true as well? Or the conclusion is the correct conclusion? Does it really not matter to you what a source is? You know, people, people used to tell me, and I used to, 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 to believe this for a while, that, well, you know, Hitler could say something that's, that's true. Well, it's, it's fine for us to take little bitty pieces from something because we know those things are true statements. We can look up those tiny little things and find them on other places. Okay, that's because those things are rational and logical. But if there is some sort of conclusion that, that someone has come to, and the only places you find it are from sources that have a certain kind of belief, you toss the idea away. You either toss it away, or <laughs> you look into the roots of why they believe what they do. And now if you want to argue that sort of thing and try to have a debate about that sort of thing, great. But if, if there are these, these certain things that, that have to be true in order for this conclusion to be true, and you can't find any reasonable sources for it, sorry, you kind of toss away the conclusion. You know, try to, if you find something, you, you're curious about it, that's when you look into finding different sources. Is this information true? And I see people saying things like, well, 
No, don't trust Snopes. They're owned by well, Murdoch something. They're they're owned by this these really rich people, and 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 they're only about. It, it's just like you know, tell people not to trust Snopes. Really? Let me guess. Snopes is a left wing something or other, right? Because anything that isn't right wing must be must be left wing. There's no such thing as center. Some people have been so paranoid that a source might be kind of left wing that pretty much it's either Christian propaganda or it's Marxist. And so it's it's been done so much in people's heads, that's what they're they're doing now, that pretty much anything that actually is in the center or is just truly just reality is looked at as on the left. But of course, you know, Christian propaganda is fine, as long as it's not left-wing. Because left-wing means social justice warrior. Left-wing means feminist. Therefore, uh, if anything is even slightly left-wing at all, it, it's, it, it's going to be feminist propaganda. But Christian propaganda is fine, because you've been able to come together in something to hate. Muslims. And in some cases, black people. Without having that actual label, because, you know, isn't that nice? And one of the main things that gets way overblown is how big of a threat Islam is to countries like the United States. I mean, it's just, like, blown way out of proportion, just to ridiculous levels. Okay, I mean, Scientology has about the same amount of possibilities of being uh, dangerous to society. I mean, look at the things that it does to... Uh, it makes people not have their, their children uh, have medical procedures because they have a belief that, uh, well, they can take care of it in other ways. You know, it's, it's just as damaging as the, uh, the su super ultra-fundamentalist Christians. You know, and that's about the same level that that Muslims have any sort of danger to our culture. Here's a statistic that people won't want to look at because it doesn't match their narrative. But here in the United States, 90 percent, well, over 90 percent, I think it's closer to 94 percent of all terrorism that has occurred since 1980 has been by non-Muslims. I'm not speaking for Europe. That's the thing that drives me nuts about this. All these people saying, you know, grow a thicker skin and all this sort of thing. Islam! Oh no, Islam! So gr let's grow a thicker skin for things we shouldn't even have to, for things that people are perpetuating just nastiness towards each other. You know, get a thicker skin for that, but have a thin skin. No, oh, no, Islam! Oh. Stupid shit. And all of that paranoia comes from these Christian websites. And there's Rebel Media, the YouTube channel. Yes, they, they're, they're so correct because they speak against SJWs, therefore everything they say is the right conclusion. Traditionalism is awesome because SJWs suck. But, but, but they're not biased at all, right? Traditionalism, pushing forth traditionalism, that, that's not a bias. It's, it's wonderful because Christianity... Don't say bad things about Christians in the right wing. The Republicans that are in office aren't really Christians. Therefore, they're not really pushing forth Christianity. Therefore, it doesn't matter what they push forth. Stop saying bad things about the right wing. Stop it. Stop it. Stop saying it. Stop it. You're hurting my feelings. Right wingers are people too. Don't criticize the right wing for being so Christian oriented. It's not really Christianity. It's something else. It's, it's, it, you can't talk about it because you don't have the right words. You didn't use the right words. You didn't use the right words. And the blaze? Give me a fucking break. Breitbart? Breitbart. 
with Milo Yiannopoulos, the Catholic anti-gay gay man whom everyone loves because he hates himself. And that's what every all gay men should want. All gay men should hate themselves. We like him. Look. <laughs> Look, he promotes bigotry. We like him. <laughs> but 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 he says true things. Yes, like these websites, like these Christian websites that you get your your information from. You get your conclusions from. Well, you know, you know things have gotten really bad if if we're agreeing with Christian websites. No, you know that you've become non-skeptics when that has occurred. You know you have bought into an ideology when that has occurred. And people who have actual answers to problems are ignored because, well, you know, they're being just politically correct. When they don't completely demonize this one group, they're just being politically correct. Hey, they have some answers. Okay? As much as you people hate uh, Francesca Ramsey, she tried to give some answers, but they all get ignored. Because, well, she didn't, she didn't say that, uh, b that black people are the problem. Therefore, I can't listen to anything she says. You know, it's not a thing of, well, it, this is, this is uh, propaganda. Although some people do make that argument, and they'd, have, they'd be right to make that argument. You can say, well, I, I don't really care for uh, looking at their stuff because it's a propaganda web, uh, you know, it's a propaganda channel. It pushes out uh, very uh, biased propaganda. That's a fine argument. But if someone says, well, I can't listen to what she says because she doesn't agree with me about uh, black people. Oh, this person has a viewpoint that I don't agree with and I have no way of proving my side. They don't have a way of proving their side, except for all the statistics and the studies, sometimes scientific studies and doctors and scholars. Except for them, you know, but, but there's no proof. Therefore, I'm right. <laughs> it just seems to kind of be the, the, uh, the mindset. But, you know, for the most part, why is it okay to, to say, no, I'm not going to look at that because it's left wing. But it's not okay for someone like me to say, um, hey, I, I'm not going to look at that because that's Christian propaganda. Look at the other links on this website. Oh, that doesn't matter. Well, for something like this that you actually have to have proof of something, it does matter. It does matter. And if every site that you find, oh, look, I found it somewhere else. Yes, this is the exact same article from this place, which is a Christian propaganda website. F find me a different source. And then someone will, will, will well, well, uh, uh, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a link to a meeting that happened somewhere video footage of Muslims having some sort of a meeting and you can see them all agreeing on these really awful things and it's kind of scary to look at but you know here in the United States I think it's kind of scary people who call themselves Christians getting together for oh it's focus on the family and they can say all these things with that that happy face you know that fake happy face, right? And they can state all these horrible things about uh, the LGBT community. And that's somehow okay. Because, well, they're not calling for people to be killed. Well, Focus on the Family has supported the Kill the Gays bill. What was it, in Uganda? They have supported that kind of shit. But, you know, that's okay because they're Christian and Christians are wonderful. You know, the Christians have a lot of power. As I've said, they, they are in the government and these aren't the ones that are the nice ones. These aren't the ones that just look at Jesus's teachings. These are the religious zealots and they're in office. And a lot of these people have been caught, like you look at uh, Right Wing Watch. 
a lot of them have been caught saying things that are just as fucking nasty as the Muslims. And they have power! But we're supposed to worry about the Muslims because their beliefs are more hateful. Oh, but I can hear people now. Well, Islam isn't just a religion. It's a political ideology. Well, a lot of Christians out there use the Bible to promote a political ideology as well. Well, it's not the same thing. It really is a political ideology. It's evil. It's the worst thing ever, ever. It's, it's, it will destroy us all. It will, it will kill us. Islam is coming. Sharia is coming. Hurry, 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 hurry. Demonize everyone and demonize all Muslims. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The Christian websites told me to. When it comes to Europe, I, I, I have no, no real say on this. I have no say on it. I haven't been to Europe. I have, I, I know a number of people who are in Europe, and some of them describe there is not being any problem whatsoever in relation to the paranoia that a lot of people are pushing out. And then there's other people that are like, oh, it's terrible, it's terrible, it's terrible. Okay, have you, and, and, and I try to ask them, have you experienced this? Well, I mean, you you can you can just you can just see it. Okay, where Do you, have you seen it yourself? Have you been treated like shit by people yourself? But instead of saying that, they'll give me news from sources that are not hey, that great. You know, there there are people here who will, for instance, make it sound like you know Mexicans. Mexicans are awful. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, they're and here's the one that's fun. Oh, they're lazy. Have you seen them work? Are you are you fucking kidding me? Would you do their jo the job that you're having them do? Have you seen them work? They got some fucking hard working motherfuckers, and you're gonna have the gall to call them lazy, and you have these rednecks getting together saying all these terrible things about about Mexicans. Well, you know, I seen this myself. Really, you did. They all get together and erpy derpy derpy derp as they self-righteously speak negatively about an entire group of people of things that aren't even true. If you have a bias against something that strong, any tiny hint of anything that comes close to matching one of the things that, that you make a stereotype about, then that becomes everything. That becomes every Mexican, right? You know, with, with rare, rare exception. And that's the same shit that I'm seeing uh, towards Muslims. It's the same shit. But yeah, for the stuff in Europe, you know, people are, well, you know, you should take, you should take the word for the, for these, these websites. And I'm like, well, if it can be shown from sources that do not ever push Fourth bullshit. What is that phrase? Uh, you know, if if you want to promote something without evidence, then I can say that it's bullshit without evidence. And this holds true. If I can't be shown any significant proof that have reasonable sources, why should I take seriously what's being said? I mean, if, if, it's, if it's some sort of philosophical position, yeah, that doesn't matter where it's coming from. That sort of thing, it doesn't matter. If something is trying to look into the human psyche, someone just discussing you know, what they feel about the human condition, you know, if, what difference does it make what the source is? It's interesting to, to get a perspective on this. But when you're trying to get factual information, you're trying to figure out what is actually happening. Uh, you, it, it, the sources matter. You know, I'm willing to bet that most people who are giving links to these articles from Christian propaganda uh, sources that 
say that Islam is evil and the worst thing that's ever existed and it's going to destroy us all, um, I bet if a Christian gave a link to somewhere on that same website that said that, that atheists are evil and atheists are ruining everything and atheists are bad, but, you know, the article was filled with lots of little facts. All these, uh, you break apart the facts, all the fa individual facts are true. Are you going to take the article really seriously? Are you going to really consider the conclusions that they come up with? No? Why, why not? They have all these facts. Is it because the source sucks? Why, yes, it's because the source sucks. So, you know, if you would do that, if there was an article making atheism out to be the bad guy, um, then when the same source says the same thing about some other group of people, it's a skeptical thing to do to question the source. So stop complaining when people tell you, hey, why don't you give me a source for this information that isn't Christian propaganda? That would be nice. How about a source for this kind of conclusion that, that Muslims are the worst thing that's ever existed and they're going to come take over everything? Um, yeah, get some good sources and maybe some of us will listen. Until then, bye Felicia.